hi in this section of this series we will introduce you to employee management system project we will build employee management system project and we will also introduce you to new technologies which will be part of this project okay let's build this together here is the demo of what we are going to build we can delete employee we can add new employee and we can also edit employee so here we have umar muhammad and we can delete this we can also add new employee okay let's add umar muhammad again and have the um as the gmail submit you see we added the employee again we can also edit this employee by changing let's change this name a little bit like umar m then try to submit and see you see we have changes by editing this employee okay this is what we were going to build in this tutorial together here is part of the architecture of our program we have a user and a user will send a request the request will be accepted by the tomcat and the tomcat will give the request to the dispatcher servlet when it gives the request to the dispatcher servlet the dispatcher servlet will use the handler mapping a component called handler mapping to find a right controller action for the request so here inside our controller it will find the right action for the given request and the based on this action the controller will call function inside the employee service and then at the end it will return the page which is a view resolver we have here so inside the employee controller it will use some of function that we have inside the employee service the function may be saving the employee deleting employee or getting employee by id these are some of the operation we will have inside the employee service an employee service will implement the employee service interface we will have employee service interface and a class called employee service implementation will have the all the implementation okay so here is another architecture for the saving once we save the user to the employee controller then employee service we have employee repository then to database the same thing with the delete and edit it will follow the same route okay so we also have key operation the key operation is we have save employees list of employees update employee and delete employee and we will going to implement this step by step okay these are the technology used in this project spring boot 3.2.5 java version 17 marvin my sql database we use my sql database we use teamleaf template spring data jpa tomcat eclipse sts and bootstrap okay so now let's build this together let's create a new project for our employee management system spring boot project create project spring starter project next 
this will connect to the stat spring io okay now i already have previous project called crude app and i will change this okay so let's name this employee management employee management app and i will change the description to employee management system tutorial tutorial okay we will use java version 17 type we will use marvin here and the package i named the package coding techniques which is the name of this channel okay so let's click next and add the dependency we need team leaf and then we also need the spring boot dev tool for the live reload we need the spring web it is a web application and then we also need my sql driver we also need the spring data jpa for performing the database operation okay these are the five dependency needed for this project and what we do next is click finish okay so now import getting started okay so before running this application we need to have a configuration for my sql database and this is what we will going to do next here inside the my sql workbench we will create a new schema we have this icon create new schema once we click it will give us the page to create the schema we will change this to employees employees like this then click on apply so apply finish we have new schema employee and if you click you see we have no tables and we will later create a jpa entity which will map to this new schema okay inside our spring boot project let's go to the application dot properties to add the configuration for my sql database application dot properties and first what we need is the data source url okay spring dot data source dot url equal to this will be the url of the my sql db it running on the local host 3306 jdbc my sql slash local host three three zero six then we add the name of the database this will grant us access to the employees database but we must provide the username and the password this will be the username and the password of the my sql workbench that you create spring to data source dot 
we will provide username equal to in my case is root and we will provide spring again the password spring data source the password password equal to root again in my case the username and the password all is root okay now we will have the jpa hypernet configuration spring to jpa hypernet here we have tl auto and we will set this to update this control the schema generation process okay and we also have another which is login configuration let add the login dot level dot hibernate SQL. This set the login level for SQL statement to we will set this to debug which enable detailed login of the SQL queries SQL equal to debug okay half one also half one more which is login dot dot hibernate dot type equal to trace capital letter with add this trace okay so and we will change this debug like this okay it better now so on the login level hibernate type trace uh, set the provide detailed information about the types of the parameters and the result in the sql queries okay now we can run the application okay so let's go to the starter class employee management application and then run a spring boot up okay now we have our application started successfully at the port 8080 so the next thing we will create a entity class uh, for the employee okay now let's create the entity class before then let's create new package inside the model package we will create the entity class let's create a class called employee okay we will annotate this class with at entity to make it as the JPA entity class which will map to database at entity we have this we will start with the field private long ID which is the 
which will be the primary key in the database private long id okay so to make it primary key first we need to annotate it with at id and this will be generated automatically we have generated value strategy generation type dot auto okay so we'll have the other field which include the first name private string first name we'll have private string last name and email private string email okay so we will generate a constructor so let go to sources here we have source generate constructor on the select all i just want to generate a constructor with no parameter uh, we know the java provide this constructor automatically but in case of spring sometimes we have trouble we need to provide this for it to access okay and then we also need to generate getters and setters okay let go to source again generate here we have getters and setters for all the fields select all okay generate okay this is what we have so far and the next thing we will do we will have the repository service and the controller that is for saving the user in the database in this section we will create repository service and controller for saving user so let create new package and call this repository okay and inside this we will create new interface employee repository okay okay our employee repository will extend jpa repository by extending jpa repository it will have access to the several method for performing jpa operation okay here we will pass the class employee and then followed by the long okay so we will annotate this class with add repository to so that it will be added to the spring container but even if we did not add the at repository once the spring sees that we have the interface that extends jpa repository it automatically add it to the container which is the spring container okay now if we leave it like this it better without the annotation okay so now let's have another package for the service new package or sub package service inside this let's create the interface we will have 
employee service interface and we are having interface inside the service we will later have a class that implement this interface which is employee service implementation will implement this employee service that is the reason of doing this we don't want our controller to be so dependent on the employee service implementation class so that if we make a little changes it will affect the controller class but if we have the interface we will use the interface inside the controller class okay and even if we make changes it won't affect our controller it won't break our code okay so we will have the method for saving user which is void save employee if i set user i mean employee in this case employee okay then we will pass the parameter employee employee this is the first method we will have for saving employee we will implement it inside the employee service implementation okay okay so let's create another class let's create a class inside the service and name this employee service service implementation and let's say m i m p l like this which means implementation okay so this will implement the employee service implement employee service okay add on implemented method which is the method that we just create so this is as simple as we will just call the save method to save the employee object that is passed here okay we need to call the employee repository okay let's start with add auto -wide okay and then have a private employee repository employee repository like this and let me take this down we repository 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 dot save employee okay that is all we need here okay it is a simple implementation we use employee repository to save the employee and we will call this method inside the employee controller okay so now we will create new sub package controller okay and let's create new class we will call this employee controller okay so inside the employee controller we will have the port mapping safe employee since that we create this method okay we will we will annotate this with add controller face add controller so that it will be added to the spring container okay and we need a method a post mapping method and we will call this endpoint safe employee so we will also have the method public string save employee 
the name of the method okay so and then this will return a string okay so before adding the value that we will return here we let's have the implementation phase okay so now we will call the interface employee service as i said earlier we will not be using the implementation okay okay let call it face let have the at auto -add annotation and then call the employee let make it private employee service we will talk to the interface so we will have the employee service we will access the method that we have safe employee okay then we need add model attribute employee will have this inside the team leaf okay employee employee okay so let add it here it will map all the field that we have to this model attribute employee okay and it will return let's set redirect to let's name this employees okay. so now so now we will create the employees page later and have this endpoint once we save the employee we want to be redirected to the list of employees that we have okay so this is the post mapping that we have and the next thing we will do we will have a get mapping as well before going to the front end implementation so let's have a get mapping and let name the part as register the part which we will get the form public string name this method registration for my case and this will return a page and the name of the page that I will create in the template is registration okay so we need to initialize and the form by sending it to the model attribute we can do this through two way okay we can add add model attribute to this add model attribute add employee and then have the employee employee like this by doing this we initialize our form with the employee object and we can also do the other way okay let me show you again we will also have this employee will have employee employee equal to new employee employee okay then we'll send this to the view using the model so let add the model we did not add the model 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 
so we use this to send it to the view model dot add attribute so let add the attribute name and the attribute value employee and then the attribute value we pass this employee to here as the attribute value and if we leave this like this is okay so we initialize our form with the object employee so that it will populate this object with the values and we save this using the post mapping when we send the submit when we click on the submit button and send a post request okay so let's save this and the next thing we will do is that we will have a front end implementation for our implementation that we have okay so let's do this together in this section we will have a front end implementation for saving employee but remember there is something we want to settle here this employee service is an interface which implemented by the employee service implementation so we need to annotate this with add service so that spring container will manage this okay so if we add the add service spring can manage this but if we did not add the add service it will not see this object and it will not manage it so this is what we need to settle now we let go to the controller we will create a page for this the page that this register endpoint will return that is the registration page okay so let's go to the template we will create a new HTML file okay so let create a new HTML file with the name registration and click OK so now here we need to change the title to registration registration ok and then we need to start the implementation but we are using bootstrap so we need to add the CSS link for the bootstrap ok now let's go to the bootstrap we will use bootstrap 5 and this is the current version here it will take you to this page click on the introduction bootstrap okay we have here the CSS link you just need to click on copy once you copy this you will add this to the header so we will start the implementation once you add this click on save okay so on we will start the implementation first we need a div with the class bootstrap class container inside this container we will have everything we also inside this container we need a cut a cut for the header and the body the header is the h2 with a text registration and the body is our form so let's have this div call with a class cut and inside this we will have two div first one we need a div for the cut header cut header okay and inside this we will have h2 
registration okay and the second div is the card body which we will have a form div and the class is card body okay so here we will have the form the input field and the label okay so let's have a form face so the form will have the attribute for the which we will use to connect this to our controller method face we need a th action the th action will we will wrap this inside the team leaf attribute which is the at and the curly bracket we will pass the url which will call so we need we have a safe employee and it will call this this is the action url so let's go to the registration and add this we also need a th object we already know the th object is employee and it will be inside the attribute dollar sign with the curly bracket so we need to pass the employee here and we also have to pass the method the method is pause simple okay so let's save this and now we will add the label and the input so we need another div and for this there is a class bootstrap class with the name form group and then followed by mb3 so on we will add the label face label so for the face name face name so remember this label have four so we need to pass the face name here and copy it the face name as well so when we copy this we need to have this for the input we need to have this inside the input so we have th field this will map the value that we have for this input field to our employee object and the team leaf attribute for this is star followed by the curly bracket and we will pass the first name inside we need to pass the type is text and then the class for the bootstrap is form control form control and then the id is first name okay so we just need to duplicate this for the last name so last name so we need last name so we will just copy this and change the th field and then the id so the same thing for the email okay email so let me add this column so let's change this to email make sure it matches the name of your object field inside the employee so let's copy this and then have it here as well as here okay this is what we have so far and 
the next thing we will do is to have the submit button okay the button type for the button will pass submit submit and then we will also have a class that is a bootstrap class for this is btn btn primary that is we are specifying the color btn primary and then we need to have submit here so which we will use to submit the employee we have employee first name last name email we have this attribute self employee then we also have the employee object method post okay now let's save this and then go back to the controller you see we will get this page that we just have at the regis register here okay now let's check for it make sure you save anything and then if there is any changes that we will do we will come back so let's see it face register okay you see we have our registration so the problem now we need to have a break so that it can go down and then we need to adjust it to center it is so straight it is so large as it okay so go back to the registration okay inside the container or on the top of the container we will have a break so let's have this break PR like this save this and then you see we have this now in beta and to make this uh, we need to reduce the length of the registration and this registration text we need it to be at the center first let solve this issue and we have a class for this the class is text center let's check if it is at the center refresh okay now it is at the center okay for making it small now we need a diff again so we need to copy all these face okay from the cut all we need to do is container cut it and let have the diff for this and we will paste it inside the class is we have the call md6 followed by offset md3 okay so let's paste it inside this save the changes go back to the refresh okay you see now it better okay so let's try submitting the first name last name and email for the employee check in the database but before then remember inside the employee controller we have read that if we save employee it will redirect us to employees this endpoint and currently we doesn't have the employee endpoint let create one at get my pin so we'll have employees employees like this let have the method public okay public string and then followed by 
let name the method employees employees okay and this will return a text so to make it return a text here we are using controller we need to annotate this with at response body okay and we need to return something like success yeah before later we will have the list of the employees okay let's save these changes go back to the we have first name let write my name aliyu last name sahabo and we have the email as aliyu sahabo adam so when we submit this it will take us to this success that is the endpoint that we just created but let's check the database to see if we have the user aliyu that is the employee let's refresh the database face you see we have these tables inside the employee we have this column okay so now let's open this the whole dish and check whether we save this it's safe correctly okay so we have this with id1 email first name last name so our implementation works correctly as we need the next thing we will do is we will have the implementation for the list of employees so that we can display the list so this is what we will do next hi in this section we will have backend implementation for the list of employees and later have the front end implementation so we need to get all employees that we have inside the database and for this we need to go to the employee service we will have a will add a new method okay and this will return iterable so you know, iterable and this will be employee object okay and we will name this find employees employees okay so this will have no parameter okay so let's save this okay inside the employee service implementation we will have the implementation for the new method we added you see we have the public iterable employee find employee okay so now we will talk to the employee repository employee repository dot find all this will return all the employees that we have and instead of returning null we just need to return this return okay so that is what we have here in the backend and in the controller we will also have the implementation we will remove this at response body we will not longer return a text now we just need to return a page and the name of the page that we will create is employees employees like this and we will also have to use the employee service to access the new created method here we will pass this list of employees to the model 
so we need to pass the model as the parameter model so model we will talk to the view model dot add attribute and the attribute will be employees the attribute name employees and the attribute value we will get the list of employees employee service dot we'll call the method find employees okay so now we are sending this to the view from our backend which is our service okay so let's save this and we will create the employees that is the front end implementation later okay now let's have the front end implementation for the employees page this one so inside the template let create new HTML file and name it employees okay finish remember we are using the bootstrap we need to provide the link first let's change these two employees okay so let's provide the css link before writing the code here we have let copy it okay and then add this okay so the next thing we will do is we'll start writing the table but before then we need a container like how we did before class container and inside this we will as well have the cut where we will have the cut header and the cut body so let's have the class cut inside this we will have the cut header and the cut body first let's have the div for the cut header div class cut header okay so inside this cut header we will have the text employees h2 have employees employees and we need to have this at the center class we will use the text center and then we also need a link which will take us to the register from the employees if you need to add another employee you will use the link so let's add this link and the th href will be we need to add the url inside this attribute add followed by the curly bracket so register okay and we will have the add employee here add employee so the class for this will be btn btn primary okay so this is all we need to do here in the cut header the next thing is the cut body and let have 
the D for the card body where we'll have the table okay so the class name for this is cat body okay so inside this cat body we will have a table the table and the type of the table we will use we will specify using the class we will need a strip table so we'll have this table followed by table strip like this okay so we need a th and t body we'll start with the t head okay and the head like this okay inside the th we will have the table row so let's have the tr okay so we will duplicate okay we need to have th table header t h okay so we will duplicate this th for the first name last name email and then action okay we will have face name last name and then email and then we will have action so we have this and then the next thing we need is the table body so let's have the table body which is t body okay inside the t body t body will as well have the table row so we need a tr okay and inside this we will have our employee remember in the employee controller we are sending this to the view which is the list of employee so using this name okay employees so when we go back to the employees we need to iterate over a list of names that we have that is a list of employee okay so this will be start inside the th inside the tr which is table row that is for each okay and it employee inside employees we need to have the name okay employees that means for each employee inside employee we will display it here so we need the table data td we need to duplicate this like four times because we have this first name last name email and action okay so for this let's have th text to display the name we need to access employee first name but inside this attribute 
like this employee that face name and let me duplicate this employee last name and then we also have employee email okay so this is what we have so far and this table data that remaining is for the action and we are not yet to the action for now okay so let's see what we have to access this we need to go to the employees okay so let try here we have this employee let access this again you see we have aliyu sahabo and we have the add employee but we need to have a break so that it could we take it down a little employees okay we'll have a pr here okay save this and then go back to refresh okay so now we fetch employees the next thing we need let's check this if it works as expected so the add employee take us to the registration and let add another name like yasir yusuf and let's have the yasir yusuf at gmail.com try to submit you see it take us to the add to the list of employees we have action here and this is what we will implement next okay so we will start with the update so see you in the next in this section we will have the backend implementation for update that is for updating employee and we will start with the employee service where we will have a new method of type employee and it will get the employee by id get employee id okay and this will receive the long long id okay so and we'll have the employee service implementation implement add on implemented method and here is the method here okay so what we need to do first we need the employee employee equal to we will use the employee repository employee repository that here we will have the find by id method find by id method and here it is we will pass the id and in case if we did not find the id we will throw an exception that is we will use or else we will use or else throw an exception okay and the exception that we will use here is fetch not found exception um, fetch not found exception here it is remember we have to have new here new fetch not found exception and here we will pass the entity name which is employee 
D D D D D D okay so let's save this so we will return the employee employee and here it is let me just copy okay so here is the what we have we will find the employee by id okay now let's go to the controller employee controller and we will have the implementation for the object inside the controller so here we will use the get mapping from the get mapping we will get the id we will send a request and the request will contain the id okay for now let's have get mapping and let name this update employee update employee id okay we will have this id as a part variable so we will access it using the method below string let name the method as well update employee okay and then we need a model because we will send to the view model and then we also need the add part variable here it is part variable of type long id which we will use to accept this from the request and this will return the update form we will have the update form which we will create during the form the update form let name it update form we will create this page later when we find the employee let have employee employee we will use the employee service to access the method find employees find employee by id okay we have get employee by id so we pass this and then we will send this to the view using the model model dot at attribute so we need this as employee okay so this is the what we have so far and the next thing we will do is the implementation front end implementation for the update form and you can see where we will send the request with the id okay let's do this together in this section we will have the front so let's add this and this will have th href equal to we will have this link inside the attribute this themlif attribute okay so we'll have the update form let go and check the inside the employee controller here is the update employee so let's copy it so that to an error which will an error which will lead to the error okay so we'll paste this here update employee followed by the id we will pass the id here based on the user 
that or the employee that we have here so we will use the id of the employee that we want to update so we'll have the id and we set the id equal to we'll have this attribute employee we access the id as we have access the first name and the last name so access so accessing this id you make sure inside the employee you have setter getter and setter for and the id and the id and the that is what you must have before adding the id because in some cases we neglect the id because sometimes in the program we were not using it so let's go to the employees so here we have set this id to the id of the current employee okay and let's have this as edit edit and we will also have something else which is the class name okay the class bootstrap class equal to let's have this as btn btn success success okay let's save this and then let try to check it here and see by refreshing this okay now we have the edit okay so and if you click here we want to it to take us to the update form so now let's create the update form new HTML file update form dot HTML so this is similar to the registration we will just add let copy all the registration we will just add some notification for the update form okay so in this case we will use the safe employee we are not using the put here despite it is the update form because we will have the id as well during the submitting and this will update the current user or the current employee so let me add this okay and we don't need the label here for the id we need this as id and the type is hidden we don't need it to be visible okay and we will we will change this to update update and as well we need to change this to update as well we also need to change this to update form okay so let's save these changes as you can see here we provide the id since that we provide the id no need to have the separate method like port mapping when we try to submit the id that already exists it replaces the id that it finds in the database okay now let's save this and try to go to the edit 
you see it take us to the update file and let me change this name like Aliu Adam to see if it changes update form okay you see Aliu Adam changes that is our update is working as expected okay so let's try to change for the Yasir Yusuf as well let's say that let's say to to Y and then click on the update you see it works at expected so the next thing we will have is the implementation for the delete in this section we will have the implementation of the delete okay so now let's go to the employee service and have new method for the delete and then it delete employee employee okay so on this delete employee will receive the parameter id okay so let's save this on our employee service implementation will implement this so let implement this method by clicking on the class add on implemented method so it's simple we will just use the employee repository and then call the delete delete by id so we will have delete all we have we will choose delete by id and here it is okay and we will pass the id so let's call this inside the controller save the changes okay inside the controller we will have a method which is a construction at get mapping delete employee delete employee the id if the id if the id using the at part variable based on the id will find the employee and then delete public string delete the name of the method and then face what we need to do is that we will have the at part variable let's just copy it from here okay then this method will return the it will redirect to the employee immediately after deleting so and we will call the employee service dot delete employee and pass the employee so this is all we need here let's save the changes and then go to the employee and add new button for the delete okay so let's add this and then change this to delete employee delete employee and we will not change anything here because it is getting the employee that we need to delete by id and for the button we need to change the color by calling btn danger and this will change the color for us okay so now this is a final implementation let's test this and see if it works 
as we expected so let's refresh this okay you see now we have this as edit let's change the text to delete delete and save the changes mm. refresh you see we have delete here okay now let's try to delete this user so you see we have deleted the user let's add the user yeah zero yusuf yes sir yusuf at gmail.com submit okay so this is the final implementation and the end of this tutorial if you enjoyed this video subscribe this channel and in the coming tutorial we will have the pagination and sorting we will add the pagination and sorting to this implementation Thank you for watching.